Hey, what's going on guys? Justin Williams here with Sigma 3 Survival School and we are out at Grand Lake today here in Oklahoma and we are going to be trying to snag some paddlefish. It's going to be an awesome day. Hopefully it's supposed to be pretty windy so you'll have to excuse any of the wind noise. Hope you guys enjoy seeing some of these monster prehistoric fish. It's going to be a great day. All right, so these rigs are pretty much really simple to put together. They're using some heavy braided line for to prevent these things from getting caught on rocks and snagging and breaking off on us. And you're simply running a giant lead weight, uh, especially if you're snagging, if you're if uh, you're dragging and trolling. If you're not trolling and you're casting, you're going to want to go with something a lot lighter than this, probably six to eight ounces, and then you can go up and weight depending on how. How easily you can cast it um, but pretty much run that on the end your hook is ran through the center of the line and then the uh, the braided line here is wrapped around the shaft and then a lot of times guys will just put a bunch of half hitches around each hook to be able to get the line in the center so that's pretty much the the setup on them Don't let keep that tip up. <laughs> Come on, Miss Katie. This dirt time on her first fish. She can get it in. I keep spinning. <laughs> Whoa. You're out past the green. You're a little ways out there. <laughs> when he gets up here by the boat, he's going to get pretty crazy. They usually do. He starts to now. <laughs> Find it! Show that fish who's boss! Keep, yeah, keep your rod tip up. There you go. <laughs> Hang on to that rod. Don't let it come down and whack our guide in the head. Come on. You got this. Good fish. Real good fish. Real good fish. Dang, bud. That's a nice fish. Okay. You can drop it down. Alright, lower your pole, then. Yeah, real nice. Hot dang. Oh, crap. Uh, that's an awesome first fish. It's growling at you. Awesome first fish, babe. Miss Katie. <laughs> Just don't drop him in the water. <laughs> Lean back on the bar. You got it. <laughs> Holy cow. You got to hold him. Because I want to get a front view. <laughs> Holy cow. It's bigger than here. 
<laughs> Make him bring his head this way. I can't. <laughs> I wish we get some sun. Oh no, that's gonna be easier. <laughs> that's crazy. You gotta pick him up. You gotta get him off the ground. Hold him, real quick. You just only gotta do it for a second. Except the lights crap. Keep him up. He's tall as you are. Seventy-two. Seventy-two pounds. I'm sure everybody knows that's seventy-two. Felt like a good one. Sure felt like a good one. Little bitty guy. Dink fought like you were a monster. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here on Dirt Time Adventures and Sigma 3 Survival School. We hope you guys enjoyed some of the footage we were able to capture. We had a great time out today. Got on a new record for Miss Katie here. I guess it was her very first spoonbill, and she obliterated my largest fish. Thanks a lot. High five. And uh, I got to get on a couple of smaller ones. Nothing to brag about, but it's all fun nonetheless. Um, we uh, plan to come back again, man. We loved it. Have a great time. Our guide was Rusty Pritchard, did an awesome job, we're very excited to uh, be able to go out with him, put us on some fish, and uh, we'd love for uh, you guys that are out there interested in doing this type of fishing, be sure to check him out. For others who are interested in maybe doing some survival fishing or any type of things like that, be sure to check out some of our courses at survivalschool.us.